Did you know that as well as the built-in Apple Loops, GarageBand allows you to bring your own files into your projects in GarageBand? And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. To import an audio file, go to the audio recorder. You won't need this. You just need to go to tracks view mode here. Now tap on the loops icon. And instead of being here in Apple loops, tap on files. At the bottom of this panel, you'll see this browse items from the files app. Tap on that one. And now navigate to the location on your iPad or iPhone or your iCloud drive where you've stored your audio file. If you've downloaded one, for instance, it'll be here in your downloads folder. Now tap on the audio file. It can be a WAV, an MP3 or an M4A and in just a couple of seconds, it'll pop up right here in your transfer window, ready to be brought into your project. Before we import the file, a couple of things to check. You'll first wanna tap on this plus button and make sure that your section is set to automatic. This will ensure that there's enough room to bring in the file. And if you're using a loop, you may also wanna change the tempo, the BPM to whatever your loop is. In this case, this loop I'm bringing in is at 140 BPM. You can set that and tap off and we're ready to import. Now go back to the loops icon, make sure we're here in files tap and drag this onto a blank track and like magic our loop is in our project. What if you want to import a number of different files? Say you're working with another producer or you wanna bring in some stems or audio files from another platform. Let's show you how to do that. Currently, I'm working with a wonderful producer, David Asher. He sent me a zip file, which I've saved here into my files app. I'm gonna to go to files and tap on that zip file and it's gonna unzip these stems. If I tap on that folder now, here is all eight files. Now we still need to import them individually, but there's a quicker way to get them into our GarageBand transfer folder, which I'll show you now. At the top, tap on select and then select all. In the very bottom right, tap the more button and tap copy eight items. Now tap on my iPad, GarageBand for iOS and the GarageBand file transfer folder. Tap and hold in the blank space here until you get the menu and tap on paste. Now return to GarageBand. And you'll notice that there's a little blue number eight by your loops. If we tap on the loops icon now and go to files, there they all are ready to be imported. And yes, we do need to import them one by one, unfortunately, but it's just a matter of going to your files here, grabbing each file and dropping them in the same location in your project one by one. Remember, if you're collaborating to make sure that you have the tempo set at the right tempo for the files you're importing. Once you've imported them all, you can change the icon as I've done here by tapping and going to icons and selecting a relevant icon and you can rename each of your tracks by tapping and tapping on rename just to make sure your project is organized. And we're ready to start collaborating on this wonderful song. There you have it, everything you need to know about importing your own audio files here in GarageBand. There's eight more videos to help you learn more down in the description and I'll see you next time.